Concerning Flyweights Flyweights have been living and fighting in the prelims of UFC cards for many, many years, quite content to ignore and be ignored by the world of the big folk. The UFC being, after all, full of strange creatures beyond count. Flyweights must seem of little importance, being neither renowned as great fighters nor counted among the very wise. While it is best to leave the simple, mischievous little people to their own affairs, when a grave injustice happens among their tiny world, bigger men have a moral duty to speak up. When I see a goblin like Kai Kara France intentionally sabotage Manel Cap's career and the UFC 293 main card, I feel compelled to stand up to such cowardice and evil. KKF needs to be held accountable for what he did. An investigation needs to be launched and he needs to be punished severely. Kia ora. I just wanted to come on here and give you guys an update. Um, so unfortunately, I've had to withdraw from my next fight in Sydney, Australia, UFC 293. Um, I suffered a concussion over the weekend at training and um, I've been speaking to my coaches, my team and my family and uh, they all think it's the right decision to put my health first. Um, just want to say sorry to all the friends and family that brought tickets, flights, accommodation, all the fans that were, that were excited to see me fight live. Um, yeah, I'm gutted that I won't be a part of this card. Um, it's been a tough week uh, with my second son being born, as well as me pulling out of this fight. Um, mixed emotions, frustrated, uh, but I've just got to focus on the pos positives and um, just spend time with my loved ones. So. Um, I appreciate the ongoing support um, and we'll be back soon. Much love. First of all, doesn't it just make you cringe how he starts off the video with one word in Maori and it doesn't say a single other word in the language in the entire clip? If you're going to make a bilingual video or you're targeting a bilingual audience, speak in both languages. It's like this culture clout chasing type of thing, this indigenous or just foreign clout chasing, like anything but English despite looking completely English. Anyway, Kaikara France claims he got a concussion in this clip. And whether or not that's true, or whether Manel Cap's theory that he is actually suffering from fear-induced diarrhea is impossible to prove. However, my gut tells me to trust Manel. Like I said, I don't really get invested in the flyweight division. When KKF lost to Amir al -Bazi, a decision he probably should have won, I couldn't care less. But Mano Cap has a soft spot in my heart. I don't know what it is, maybe it's his unhinged behavior on Twitter or his take on eugenics. I just like the crazy little guy. However, I can't help but notice that his career and chance at touching a belt is being intentionally sabotaged. Kai Carter France's mysterious, inexcusable pullout is the 10th in Manel Cap's career, seven of which have occurred within the UFC. This is insane and cannot be excused away with bad luck or coincidence. His opponents literally fear him. The name of Manel Cap strikes terror in the heart of flyweights around the world. No one wants to fight him, and there is a global conspiracy to delay his chance at getting to the title for as long as possible. You might be saying, oh, KKF is a skinny chicken boy. We all knew that. We knew he'd pull out in terror. How does that make this sabotage or a conspiracy? Because city kickboxing likely orchestrated the entire thing. Israel Adesanya is obsessed with being the one and only African champ in the UFC. They know that once Manel Cap touches the belt and shows the world what a true, based, unhinged African king really looks like, Izzy and Eugene's little horse and pony show is over. Izzy is trying to associate being African with being a 21st century anime enjoying, dog touching creep. Which one would you rather have representing Africa? I have more reasons why Kai Kara France needs to be punished and fired from the UFC. He is giving Maoris and New Zealanders around the world a bad name. As I mentioned earlier, it's very cringe to just 
drop foreign words into an English language monologue. Kia ora. I just wanted to come on here and give you guys an update. Um, so unfortunately, I've had to withdraw from my next fight. It's cringe. Brazilians are literally learning English and refusing to talk to the Portuguese translator as they speak pre-written English lines to crowds. Zhang Wei Li, Chinese, doing the same thing. Yet, first language Anglo speakers are dropping Maori words into pull-out speeches. No one speaks Maori. Most Maori don't speak Maori. Kaikar France is using the Maori culture as if it is just another piece in his hype beast closet. Because, after all, Kaikar France is a man in his late 20s who still dresses like a 15-year-old Chinese boy from Vancouver. Once you are like 25 or so, you have to stop dressing like a kid. It's one thing to be a teenager in your early 20s and wearing Supreme and flashy Jordans and Nikes and stuff like that. But once you're approaching 30 and you're getting to that age, act like a man. You're a professional. You're a professional fighter. You know what I mean? While you're doing hacker stuff, it honestly, like, think about the look of that to the rest of the world. You might be cool in some circles within New Zealand, some very out of touch circles within New Zealand. But I guarantee if New Zealanders are honest with themselves, it's a terrible look. If the world were to just objectively speak about it, it looks so stupid, dude. It looks dumb. So this is a word of advice to Kai Kaikara fans. If you do want to just like get some respect, because I get short kings often have a need to overcompensate. Like I, you can see that it happens all the time, right? Don't be that guy, right? Don't be that guy. Let's go, brother. Ah! Let's go. Have a bit of respect for yourself. Have a bit of awareness that you are representing Maoris, Kiwis, and short kings around the world. I think I've provided enough evidence on why Kai Kara France needs to be punished. I think a just and fair punishment would be to fire him immediately from the UFC. Let me know what you guys think below in the comments. Dime, papi. Dime, mami.